Australia celebrates an unexpected queen. She's none other than Crown Princess Mary. At nowhere when the world's last reigning queen caused surprise by abdication on light television. History was also made in a country far, far away. I'll hand over the throne to my son. Crown Prince Frederick Margrethe II of Denmark said in her year-end address. Her decision to make way for the next generation of Danish royals has sent ripples around the world. But it has also delivered the first ever Australian-born queen, consort Frederick's wife, Princess Mary. Less than a month after Queen Margrethe took over the throne in 1972 following the death of king henry the ninth a girl called mary donaldson was born on the other side of the world in a small hubbard hospital the daughter of a mathematics professor and an executive assistant who had emigrated to australia from scotland mary grew up in a middle class southern home alongside her siblings jane patricia and john by most accounts she was a natural leader by the time she left high school with her former principal telling the abc in 2003 that mary was known as an engaging very outgoing very amiable young woman she was a popular student and stood out from the crowd an old teacher Geoff locker told the sydney morning herald after graduating with a degree in law and commerce from the university of tasmania she had a high flying career in advertising and then luxury real estate but it was a chance encounter in a rowdy sydney watering hole during the 2000 olympic games that would ultimately turn her life upside down as the story goes a 28 year old she is merry she had gone to the sleep in pub to meet some friends for a drink several europeans were among the group including frederick his brother prince josim his cousin prince nicholas of Greece and Denmark, Princess Martha of Norway and the now King of Spain, Philip VI. There were no security details of prying paparazzi and the fact that Mary and her friends were among royalty didn't come up in conversation. Instead, the most serious topic of debate was whether men looked better with or without just hair. Half an hour later, someone came up to me and said, Do you know who these people are? Mary told the Australian comedian Andrew Denton in 2005, remembering the encounter. I gave Frederick my telephone number and he rang me the next day so you could say something clicked. It wasn't fireworks in the sky or anything like that, but there was a sense of excitement, she added then quickly struck off a long distance relationship and by 2002 mary decided to relocate to denmark where she started learning danish and accepted a job at microsoft when the couple tied the knot two years later in copenhagen cathedral on 14 may more than a million australians woke up in the middle of their night to watch the ceremony alive. Back in Tasmania, students from Taruna High School Mary's alma mater donned Viking helmets and tyras for a celebration royal supper. The girl who charmed the nation was the front page headline carried by the Copenhagen Post that day alongside a news poll declaring that five out of six Danes were certain she would one day make a great queen. For most of her reign, Queen Margaretha has remained a popular figure in Denmark and many expected her to keep the throne until death, the longest serving monarch in the nation's history. She is known for her brightly colored clothing, love of archaeology and chain smoking. In recent years, she oversaw a string of reforms aimed at future proofing 
the age-old institution which holds no jurisdictional authority by remains but remains symbolically important. Most notably, she slimmed down the number of royals and restructured the palace finances so that only her heir to the throne receives a state-funded salary. Now it will be up to Frederick and Mary to shape the next chapter. Celebrated for their modern values, the pair have tried to give their children as normal an upbringing as possible by sending them to mostly state schools. They've also thrown their weight behind a range of issues. Prince Frederick has made climate change his life's work, while Mary has gained recognition as an advocate for LGBT, causes maternal health and women's reproductive rights. I've always had a strong sense of justice that everyone should have the same opportunities, no matter where you come from, she told the Financial Times in 2002. This news from BBC. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.